Hey there guys, it's Ryan again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your hard drive cable on your MacBook Pro. So this is what the cable actually looks like. You'll need to buy one, and I'll have a link in the description on eBay. So you'll need a small tool set. I've got one right here. It looks like this. I got it from O'Reilly's for 10 bucks. All the set really has to do is have a small screwdriver. You can see here mine's a magnetic type of screwdriver where you can uh, replace the tips. Just pop them out and pop back in. So the first step here is to unscrew every screw on the back panel of the MacBook. You're going to want a good location to put these so you don't lose them. And uh, the open part of the little tool set that I had is a good location for these. Or you can have a small cup or a bowl. Now these three locations up here in the top right corner of the MacBook when it's upside down are longer screws. So you'll want to remember where these are. You can see they're quite a bit longer. Down here, these four at the very bottom of the MacBook are a little bit different. They're the same size as the uh, the other one, but as you can see here, it's got a little collar around the head of the screw, so you want to make sure that those four go in the same location when you put them back in. Alright, so now we got all the screws off, so the next step is to remove the back panel. Just set it off to the side, it's fine. Right here is the plug to un unplug the battery. You want to be very careful with this. I use a guitar pick just to pry it up just a little bit and start it out. And then once you get it lifted up, you can just pull it back with your fingernail. This removes power to the MacBook. Make sure it's also unplugged. Right here we have two screws, and once we unscrew these, this will allow us to remove the bar that holds the hard drive in. We can now remove the bar and lightly pull the hard drive up. Be very careful as it is held in with a cable still. You'll want to unplug your cable, and this is what we'll be replacing today. I set my hard drive aside in a nice, safe location. So next we'll be removing the actual cable by unscrewing these two screws that it's pointed at. Now it's time for the actual cable to come out. Right here where I'm pointing you're going to go ahead and unscrew two screws and it's going to reveal another bar just like we had on the other side of the hard drive. And just like before, we'll just lift that out and set it aside. Now I'm going to begin removing the actual ribbon. You'll want to use a lot of caution with this little thin ribbon piece. Because at the base right there, there is a plug, so make sure you don't damage it. You'll see it a little bit better whenever we reinstall the new cable. And the last step is to unplug it from the motherboard, which I just did. So here is the new hard drive cable. This is what it looks like. Right now I'm going to remove all of the adhesive protection. So I sped things up, but basically what I'm doing is everything we just did in reverse order. So we just plug the cable back into the motherboard. I'm just kind of bending the cable so it fits nice and snug like it's supposed to. And I'm being very careful about placement before I actually set this down because it will stick as the adhesive protection has been removed. So here is the cable with the ribbon. So this is the part we wanted to be very careful about earlier to make sure we didn't get the ribbon torn off and stuck inside of the plastic bar. So I'm just very carefully and gently working it back into position. You may have to help encourage the ribbon in with a tool such as a small screwdriver. Just be careful you don't scratch or damage it. So now that the ribbon's been reseated, we can go ahead and replace this bar where it needs to go and screw it back on in as we did earlier.
Now that the bar has been reseated, you can go ahead and firmly press the cable down so the adhesive will keep it there permanently. We'll next go ahead and replace the screws that hold the larger portion of the cable down. We are now ready to replace our hard drive. You can look inside to verify the plug is aligned. Once that's complete, you can firmly reseat the hard drive back in the slot. So from here, we just reseat everything, make sure the cable's firm, press it down to make sure it fits really nicely with the computer, replace the bar, screw it back on in. And last but not least, reattach that plug to get the battery power back to the computer. After that you can replace the back of your computer. Just remember those four cuffed collared screws that are small go at the very bottom of the computer and the larger longer screws go on the top right three slots. And now to turn it back over and test the computer. I hope this video helped everybody out. If you have any questions that arise when attempting this, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And please remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.